This is the LGM-100, affectionately known as the Little Green Monster, the most versatile attachment for your garden tractor. Contact us if you need any support during your install. We are happy to help. Please work safely. Hire a professional if you don't feel comfortable doing any of this work. Ensure you have all the necessary tools and secure your tractor on a flat and level surface. Lay the LGM-100 components in front of your tractor in the order they will be installed. The two uprights, the lift arms, and the bucket. The first step is to mount the uprights. Turn the steering wheel fully in one direction to gain access to the frame. Locate the small hole shown. Enlarge it with a 5 16th inch drill bit. Insert the pre-installed bolt on the upright through this hole. Now insert a 1 half inch bolt through the upright and frame and loosely secure the upright to the frame using the provided nuts. Do not fully tighten. Turn the steering wheel in the opposite direction to gain access to the other side. Repeat this process to mount the other upright. Ensure the uprights are loosely installed. Next, install the lift arms. Align the lift arms with the uprights, being mindful of the orientation. Connect using the 1 half inch clevis pins. Due to the tight manufacturing tolerances, you may need to use a hammer to help push the pins through. Always secure the clevis pins in place with the provided cotter pins. Now, finish mounting the uprights. Rest the lift arms on a flat and level surface so that both ends are touching the ground. Ensure the arms are centered on the tractor. Tighten the nuts on each upright. Use the upright as a guide to drill the two 3 8 inch holes through the frame. Be patient as this takes some time and effort. Use WD-40 or other lubricant to assist this process. Insert the provided 3 8 inch bolts and fully tighten all nuts to finish installing the upright to the frame. Turn the steering wheel back in the opposite direction and repeat this process on the other side. Now connect the bucket and install the actuators. Align the bucket with the lift arms and connect using clevis pins. Secure with the provided cotter pins. Finally, install the actuators. Make sure each lift arm actuator is the same model and that the bucket actuator is oriented as shown. Congratulations on mounting your LGM-100. Install the wiring harness. Unpack the wiring harness. Make sure you have the following components. The power and switch control assembly. Both connector harnesses. And one extension harness. Use the provided switch template to mark the locations where you want to mount the switches. Drill holes using a 1 half inch drill bit. Mount the switches in these holes. We recommend orienting the switches so the blue and white connectors are facing the front of your tractor. Replace the bolt on the top of the OEM harness connector with the longer M6 bolt provided. Mount the relay to this bolt using the provided hardware. Connect the power harness to the existing 12 volt fast connector. Attach the connector harnesses to the switch harness using the gray connectors. Route the connector harnesses along opposite sides of the engine bay.
feed each harness through the upright. Connect the lift actuators to the harness using the black and red connectors. Next, attach the extension harness using the blue connector. Route the extension harness down the lift arm, across the cross member, and connect it to the bucket actuator. Use the provided orange grip lock ties to secure the harness to the 2x2 tubing. These special zip ties have a tab that enables you to release them and reposition if needed. The rubber will hold the harness in place without needing to be over tightened. Use the black zip ties to secure the harness inside the engine bay. Ensure all wiring has adequate clearance for many moving parts. Verify there is adequate slack to prevent binding during the motion of the actuators. Now to connect the harness to the battery. Follow these steps carefully to ensure your safety. Make sure your tractor is off and the key is removed. Use a half inch socket to remove the negative battery terminal. Remove the nut from the positive battery terminal post. Connect the red wire to the post using the ring terminal. Thread the nut back on the post and secure the positive battery terminal back on the battery. Cut a small slit in the red protective cover to allow the wire to pass through. Then cover the positive battery terminal. Connect the black wire to the negative battery terminal and reattach the terminal to the battery. Test the operation of your LGM-100. First, double check there is adequate space around the tractor to safely operate the loader. Insert your tractor key and turn it to the on position. If any actuator begins to move, immediately turn the key back off and contact us for assistance. Use the switches to test the motion of the loader. Ensure the arms and bucket travel fully. The wiring should never be under any stress throughout the whole range of motion. If you need to adjust the wire routing, we include plenty of extra zip ties. Congratulations on finishing installing your new LGM-100 attachment. Please visit LGMUSA.com for additional content and to stay up to date on new products designed to help you get the most out of your tractor.